So here we are with another organelle of the cell which is also without limiting membrane. The cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is a complex network of structure which is present throughout the cell. So it consists of three major proteins that is microtubule, intermediate filaments and microfilaments. These are present either in the cell close to the nucleus, this is the nucleus and whether these are present close or they are present in the cytoplasm anywhere. They can be present here or here. There are three major uh, components of the cytoskeleton. These are microtubules. Number one is the microtubules. Microtubules are actually a straight and hollow structure. They are made up of protein called the tubulin. This is the tubulin. Tubulin also has the two sub protein units that are alpha unit and the beta unit. So this is the protein which is making the microtubules. Microtubules are like a conveyors, they are like a conveyor belt. Like this is the belt which is rotating this, around these rods. So whenever the organelle like mitochondria or other vesicles, they want to move within the cells in a different area, they move through this microtubule which is acting like a conveyor belt. Whenever an organelle comes in contact with this, and this uh, belt is continuously moving, like this belt is moving, these microtubules are helping this uh, mitochondria or other vesicle to move in a different part of the cell. So what different function these microtubules are performing? They are providing the structure strength to the cell, determining the shape of the cell and forming the spindle fibers during mitosis. When the, uh, when the chromosomes are separating. Movement of the centrioles and structures like cilia. Cilia are the structures, thread-like structures that are helping the cells in movement. So the next one is the intermediate filament. Intermediate filament is a rope-like structure. It is a rope-like structure made up of fibrous protein. This is the fibrous, fibrous protein. It is further divided subclass uh, into different subclasses that is keratin, wimentin, desmin, neurofilaments. These are present in the nerve cells, these are in the muscles and keratin in the epithelial cells. What are the functions performed by these intermediate filaments? Intermediate filaments is also maintaining the shape and it is also connecting the adjacent cells. The third one is the microfilament. It is a long thread-like structure which is made up of two proteins that is actin and myosin. Actin is present in the ectoplasm. I have discussed ectoplasm that it is present just beneath the this cell membrane. This is the area of the ectoplasm. Here the actin is present. So the microtubules containing actin are present in the ectoplasm and the one which is containing both actin and myosin is present in the endoplasm. Endoplasm is the area from this ectoplasm to the nucleus. This is the endoplasm. The one which is containing both actin and myosin is present in the endoplasm. These are uh, performing the function uh, that is resistance. Whenever the force is applied, it is providing resistance to the force which is applied to the cell. It is also helping uh, actin and myosin are proteins which are uh, performing its functions or its role in the movement of the muscles that is sliding and contraction. The next one is the strength to the cell. It is also providing strength to the cell. So these are the functions performed by microtubules, intermediate filaments and the microfilaments. These are all the cytoskeletons.